All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to another DFU tutorial. Today we'll be covering one of our proprietary indicators that's only available in DFU, and that is the DFU market cycle indicator. Uh, this is pretty configurable, and basically what it does is it allows you to define, based on the moving averages, a market cycle on a particular stock or symbol. Uh, right now, I have it defined as uh, when we're above a rising 21 EMA, uh, we are in an uptrend. You can see the cycle increases day by day. And then when we cross below that moving average, then a down cycle begins. So let's actually zoom in right here uh, to show this a little bit more easily. And you can see we break above the 21 EMA right here and we begin, begin a new market cycle until eventually we close below it uh, right on this day for one day. And then we have a short term uh, uptrend, up cycle here. And then once again, we start a down cycle and we can see it's been a lot choppier here um, over the past few months or so. Uh, but our goal, obviously, is to catch a move like this, where we get above the 21 EMA, start a longer term market cycle. And this is where we can really make progress um, trading, you know, to the long side, growth stocks. And that's when we're going to make the, the most progress in our portfolios. Uh, so again, uh, just very briefly, when we get above a rising 21 EMA, we begin a market cycle uptrend. And this indicator just kind of helps you stay on top of, you know, where are we in the cycle? How long has this cycle been going on? And also how choppy are we? Are we in a sustained cycle or do we have a lot of ups and downs, which is much more suggestive of a corrective environment? So opening up the settings, you can see you can change the colors of the cycle, the down cycle, um, also the main chart background, all of these, the baseline as well. Um, and you can also see you can turn on and off the stress test. And right now I have this turned off or actually turned on and now it's turned off and now back on again. And what the stress test is, is basically just early on in a cycle, uh, we've noticed, you know, based on our own trading, uh, that there's often some stress tests early on where you get a large down move, big shakeout. Basically, it's a test of the market after a start of a new cycle. And we have these programmed in, uh, you know, a set number of days after a cycle begins. Uh, but in the future, we'll be iterating and adding some um, additional logic to make sure that it's a day like this where we get a big shake and, you know, a test of convictions. And ideally, the market puts in a higher low after that shake and just kind of, you know, goes back off to the races and continues on with the uptrend. But this is just kind of a helpful indicator that, hey, you know, we've just started an upcycle. We've had an initial push off the lows and now just be ready for some type of, you know, market correction short term uh, that gives you a good sense of what's what's holding up, what's showing relative strength. Um, but, you know, could be stopping you out of any positions you took a little bit late in the game. Um, after the cycle has already been going on for four or five days or so. So this is just kind of a helpful indicator. And if you want to go and turn it off, you can go ahead and do that really easily, just like that. All right. So here's where you set what the baseline index this is, uh, because if I go to NVIDIA, if I type correctly, NVIDIA, uh, you can see that this stays the same. This is the same re regardless on whatever symbol you have up. And this is where you can kind of trade in conjunction with what the market is doing. Um, the best times to really get aggressive is early on in a new uh, market cycle, as you can see right here. Um, and here is where you change the symbol that kind of defines your market cycle. I personally like the QQQ and the 21 EMA. I know other people like the SPY. And let me type that in SPY and, you know, the 23 EMA or 21 day simple, really you can set this for yourself, whether you want more short term cycles or, or longer term cycles. Again, this is completely up to you. You could do the 200, well, not the 2300, but you do the 200 uh, EMA here and you'll get these longer term cycles. Um, as you can see, just like that, that capture the big bull markets. And then during the market corrections, uh, you know, it, it negates down. But um, obviously, this is hyperbole. This won't give you too much additional information. Um, but, you know, you can basically just determine what moving average and what index you want to decide uh, for yourself is relevant to your process. Um, so that pretty much is it for the market cycle. Basically, again, this is to help basically make sure that you're trading in conjunction with the market trend. Um, also gives you a sense of, you know, how long these trends last. If you look back historically, you can see uh, these are extended periods of really good trading. Uh, but, you know, often just in a standard bull market, uh, we'll have a lot of, you know, pauses along the way, corrected periods, 
And once we get to, you know, about this many days up in the correction, we're getting a little bit longer the tooth and you might want to be taking uh, the foot off the gas a little bit, being a little bit more defensive and, you know, not, not predicting that a correction is going to happen, but just be aware that the possibilities are increasing of potentially some pullback uh, choppiness in the market. So that's another way that this indicator can really help you out. Uh, so hopefully this tutorial was helpful. If you do enjoy this, go ahead and leave a like down below, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And one last thing I do actually want to show is to actually how to add it to your chart. So if you're not familiar just yet, go up here to where the indicators and strategies icon is, give that a click, just type in cycle, and then you can go ahead and add it just like that. And of course, uh, edit all the settings to suit your configuration and what you would like to set up. So again, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in future videos. Take care.